Hello all. This is uh, Nilima Nimje from Department of Management Studies, and in today's lecture, we are going to study about e-commerce. So, before we understand what is e-commerce, let us know what is commerce. So, commerce is nothing but the buying and selling of goods. That is, many years ago, it has started right from the barter system, where there was just an exchange of goods. Later on, it they have taken a shape of an precious metal after that the commerce have taken a shape of metal coins later on came the paper money which is going till date after that the commerce have taken a shape of an plastic money in the form of credit card and debit card and also the uh, commerce have taken later on shape of an electronic money in the form of google pay phone pay paytm etc and the recent one is cryptocurrency and this is how an evo entire revolution of commerce have taken place till date now moving towards the next that is traditional commerce so before we understand what is traditional uh, the traditional commerce is the process of buying and selling of goods face to face it means what that this particular commerce has been limited to a particular geographical location as the retailer personally interacts over here so here more of a personal interaction is involved with the customer also the delivery of goods over here has been done instantly but it has one limitation and that limitation is that it is limited particularly during the daytime only that it has limited business hours only that is daytime now let us look after the e-commerce now e-commerce is what e-commerce is a process of buying and selling of goods or services using an electronic medium such as internet e-commerce uses heavily it that is information technology in the form of edi that is electronic data interchange where the exchange of data is been done electronically between the business and the customer now here you can see two types that e that is e-commerce deal with both the type that is tangible goods and services as well as intangible goods and services now in tangible one you can see groceries books apparels are the example of tangible goods and services whereas education insurance and subscriptions are the example of intangible one now moving towards the next that is actual definition of an electronic commerce that is e-commerce so according to e turban and others e-commerce describes the process of buying and selling or exchanging of products services and information via computer network including internet it means what it means as well as as, well, as soon as the customer has an internet connection with us as long as it has an inter con uh, internet connection available with it he can shop online that is he can buy and sell the goods anytime and anywhere also at the same time he can have an access to an information related to all the product and services of available related to that particular product on an e-commerce website so we can say some of the examples of e-commerce are paytm nika blue dart uh, amazon flipkart mintra misho are all the examples of an e-commerce now let us look after the features of e-commerce that is very first feature is ubiquity ubiquity means what and customer can have have an access to an e-commerce website 24/7 365 days that is throughout an year it means what as well, as soon as the customer as long as the customer has an internet connection with him he can shop anytime and anywhere and this is what makes an e-commerce unique and appealing second feature is personalization now you must have seen often the uh, e-commerce website sends the personalized and customized message to the individual or group of customer now this is done for what particular purpose let us understand it by an example so for example there is a user and this particular user have uh, search for a certain product but he have left that product unpurchased so what an e-commerce website does e-commerce website uh, send him a personalized offer for that particular product to that customer now what is the use of it that the use of it is like that that the customer might rethink about the product and can end up buying that product moving towards the next feature that is customer review now the customer often give the feedback related to the product on an e-commerce website openly eventually this helps the other shoppers for making the purchasing decision also at the same time it creates more tang uh, 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 transparency on an e-commerce website and it create more shopping experience authenticated and genuine moving towards the next one that is an product comparison 
e-commerce offers and uh, offers and your customers to compare the more than one product features side by side instead of flipping through the website so it saves lot of time and this is what a uniqueness of an e-commerce stands for next feature is live chat now live chat is what whenever an user goes on an e-commerce website for an shopping he might arise with an query and in order to resolve that query live chat is the solution now live chat uh, a live chat usually completes or fulfills one element and that element is called as human touch which is usually missing in an e-commerce now the last uh, feature of an e-commerce is product demo e-commerce offers the video based product demo to their customer in order to educate them to give them more information related to the products its features uses benefit and this is what helps the customer in making that purchasing decision and it also enhances the shopping experience of the customer that's all about the feature and now let us look into the broad categories of e-commerce now the very first thing that comes into mind of all the learners is like on what basis this categorization is been done and it has been done on the basis of an online presence and offline presence now the major categories of e-commerce are pure click companies and brick and click companies now pure click companies are those companies which do not have any physical existence it means what it are existent it it only have an presence on an online website only some of the pure click companies are like search engines like yahoo commerce sites like amazon content sites like encyclopedia also we can say that olx and flipkart are the classic example of pure click companies then next category is brick and click company now this companies have physical as well as online existence it means currently they have a physical space and at the same time they are available on an online website too it means what it means that the e-commerce web uh, this particular brick and click company shares a physical space it means their customer has are having one plus point and what is that plus point that one plus point is that that the customer these customers have their customers have more ways to make and purchase so the uh, customers of shopper stops and bata can either go and shop online too and either they can also go on uh, or go on to an offline store and make and purchase now moving towards the models of e-commerce which is also called as categories of e-commerce so these are very famous and very unique categories that an e-commerce have and very first of that is b2b now b2b is business to business now here the the transaction is carried between the businesses this is usually done with the help of an edi which means electronic data interchange here every individual business gets an opportunity to build a high high, uh, high valued relationship with other business throughout their uh, transaction we can say that trade india alibaba india mart are some of the examples of b2b model next is your b2c model now the b2c is like on one end there is a customer and on other end there is a business now here the customers uh, now customers shop uh, go on an uh, business or uh, e-commerce website they make and purchase for product and services and at the same time what does the business does business gather the information related to the customer so we can say that farm easy amazon first cry are some of the examples of b2c model moving towards the third model that is c2b now c to be is like on one end there is a customer and on the other end there is a business so it is generally a reverse pricing model so here in this the customer will ascertain the prices of the product and the businesses what they would be doing they would be choosing the this product according to whatsoever will fit into their criteria we can say that freelancer.com fiverr.com or some of the example of consumer to business moving towards the next feature that is consumer to consumer now here the consumer can individually transact among themselves in an online environment now the very first thing that comes into your mind that how come is the emergence of the c to c model and the answer is that like there was an immense growth in an area of an e-commerce and at the same time there was in the growth of an online auction where every individual gets an uh, opportunity to bid on what they want from among the multiple customers now here we can say that olx is a classic example of c2c model moving towards the next model that is b2g that is business to government so your business sells their product services as well as information to the government agencies or government organization now here the businesses wanted to have an uh, direct transaction here we can say that business generally or usually bids on the government project 
So the recent example that I would like to give for the B2G is like most of the Navi Mumbai cars might be knowing that there was uh, for a, at the start of the year there was Mahanagar gas pipeline installation done. And on that particular project, lot of contractor have bidded on uh, that particular Mahanagar gas line, uh, gas pipeline installation. So that was an example for B2G model. Moving towards the next model, that is G2B. So here, the government gives lot of so solutions or services to the business. Now this particular business are been benefited by whatsoever services are been given by the government. Now here, the motive behind this G2B model of a government was they wanted to practice a paperless transaction for to improve the communication and smoother and faster. They wanted to increase the smoother and faster flow of a business transaction. We can say that uh, for an example that the go uh, like a lot of businesses uh, it, uh, uses the government po portal for making an online registration of MSME or for taking out the license of PASAI. So these are certain examples of G2B model. Moving towards the next model that is G2C which is government to consumer. Now in this particular model the government avails certain services to the citizen of India. Now this particular uh, thing is like that the citizen uh, whatsoever information that they are getting through a government website it has been uh, at a it has been shared at a very very minimal cost. So you must be knowing that the Indian Railways is usually ha having an IRCTC website. So user uses this IRCTC website for booking of the tickets. So it means what that the government uh, the, that all the consumers are using this government portals in order to book the tickets. So this was an example of government to uh, consumers. Then moving towards the next model that is consumer to government. In this particular model, the consumer transact with the government. In this situation, the consumers are like wanted to uh, make a certain um, things. Uh, they either need to request for certain information uh, related to the public sector, or they need to give certain feedback to the government institution, or they need to uh, make certain payments to that government portals. So we can that is what an entire C two G model work on. So for an example, the user, the user, like the persons like you and me, we often uses the government website for making, uh, for uh, making the payment of an electricity bill or we pay taxes online. So that is what an example of C2G model. And the last model is G2G, which means government to government. So here the transaction occurs between either two government agencies, government departments or either government organization. The main o goal of this G2G model was to uh, like uh, to, was to promote the e-governance where they wanted to improve more of a communication, more of they wanted to do the data sharing, need, they need to do and data access for uh, a more announcement of a G2G transaction. And this is what a G2G, trans uh, G2G model means. The example for G2G model is Negus, that is North East Gang Information System. So here what it happens basically is like that, that uh, the North East states of India have came together and formed a G2G uh, model in which they uh, transact among themselves electronically. So this is what and categories of e-commerce are all. So that's all about uh, where we are ending up uh, knowing all the basic knowledge related to e-commerce. Thank you. Have a good day.